Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now July 26th of 2020 and ever since the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have really been looking forward to the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars is that, yes, we do know that Kathleen Kennedy no longer has creative control for the most part of any of the existing Star Wars projects in the early development phase, which really is good news because that really does tell us that they really are going to stick with the vision by George Lucas and how they're going to implement a lot of Star Wars Legends material is really shaping up the future of Star Wars in a more positive sense that's only going to attract the fans back into the franchise. Now, the thing about Disney Star Wars right now is that yes, they are in a phase of desperation and damage control to really get the ball rolling again when it comes to Star Wars. Essentially, what they want to do is that they, they really want to bring Star Wars to the same exact level as the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And like I've said many times before in the past, that's going to take a lot of time and effort and a high success rate to really get it to such a level. It's going to take a minimum, I would say about three to four years of having a lot of TV shows being, you know, a big success for Lucasfilm and even the first Star Wars movie to really make a good impression among many fans around the world. So with that being said, of course, what's really exciting all has to do with the character of Luke Skywalker and what creators George Lucas, John Favreau, and Dave Filoni are all planning for this new expanded universe that is actually aimed to be far larger than the old one that we got back in the 90s and the early 2000s. Now, with that being said, with both Disney and Lucasfilm now finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are now focused on their new Star Wars universe, as well as their new Star Wars trilogy of films that will focus on a brand new mythology for Star Wars fans to witness. It's described that both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are currently very much hard at work on developing a way to reunite the Star Wars fans around the world. It's described that Chapek has been making major changes to Star Wars behind the scenes, where it's noted that recently George Lucas made a major change for the character of Luke Skywalker, where they are set to introduce a younger version of Luke married to Mara Jade in the new Star Wars universe that is set to be used in The Mandalorian Season 3, borrowing many elements from Star Wars Legends. Now, George Lucas, Jon Favreau, and Dave Filoni are all said to be a part of the process of fixing Luke by introducing Mara Jade into the new canon material. Not just that, but also Lucasfilm is said to bring Luke Skywalker back to life in a post-Rise of Skywalker era, where he will come back to life through the power of the wills, temporarily speaking. Mark Hamill is said to be somewhat involved with both timelines that will cater to Luke Skywalker and how Lucasfilm will set the character straight even further for the fans to enjoy around the world. Lucasfilm has been in the talks with Julianne Moore to portray Mara Jade in the new canon material and that one of the scenes for Mando Season 3 is that they aim to show a scene in which Luke will train Mara Jade through the ways of the Jedi and the Force. So here's the thing about this entire scenario is that Number one is that they are borrowing a lot of elements from Star Wars Legends, also known as the old EU. This really does speak volumes because it tells the fans exactly what they want to do with the character of Luke. They want to bring him back to how he was in the books, the comics, and the novels from the 90s and the 2000s. Apart from that, the real upside to all of this is that they are going to be introducing Mara Jade into the new canon material and that they have been in the talks with Julianne Moore. Now, let's focus on Julianne Moore. Now, it said that they've been talking about this for quite some time now, a number of years. Julianne Moore, I'm, I'm not quite sure how a lot of fans will react to her as Mara Jade, but I really do believe that she can pull it off. Obviously, they're aiming for an older version of Mara, and what they really want to do is that they really want to make Mando Season 3 right, come really kind of enhance the Luke Skywalker experience to really set up the canon lore. Now, obviously, it's not going to end in, you know, the way that we had hoped. Obviously, they're going to be focusing on the tragedy of Luke's wife and child in this new universe that will actually explain as to why they are not present in the sequel trilogy movies. So, in the long run, it seems as though that regardless, you know, inevitably, Luke's child and wife will die in the new canon years from now at some point in time by George, John, and Dave. Essentially, they were forced to do that because if you look at the movies... There are no hints of Luke having a wife or a child, absolutely none. 
So they kind of have to abide by the rules of the sequel trilogy a little bit, I guess. If they really wanted to, they really could have just done what they wanted to do and just went along with everything and made some explanation in the sequel trilogy movies, but I digress. Like I say, Mara J, by far one of the most prominent characters in Legends, one of the most, I guess you could say, famous characters in Star Wars Legends because of how she has that connection to both the Emperor and Luke Skywalker. She's got that, you know, touch to her as a character. You know, she's been both affiliated with the light and the dark in several ways, and I think it's going to be very intriguing to see Disney's take on all of this. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.